Coming from England, uh, I was I was thrusted into soccer. Um, by no means did I not want to. I I, I wanted to 100%. Um, but I've been in a formal environment the majority of my life, from four years old to 18 years old, pursuing a professional contract. That's what my goal in life was. That's why I woke up in the morning. And that motivation and that drive had kind of found its way and I lost it. Obviously, as a student athlete, you're, you're um, exposed to a lot of different different struggles, uh, different challenges throughout your career, whether it be um, your athletics, your your school work, uh, maybe you're living far away from home, like myself, being an international student. Um, you kind of have to get over a few hurdles that sometimes aren't aren't feasible. Me, knowing myself, I'm very, uh, very bottled up in, in the emotional sense, so uh, I try and keep uh, everything, if everything inside, deal with it myself, and and those those problems last, last fall and last spring kind of, kind of became too much, and uh, so I had to humble myself in a, in a sense and really realise my limitations and uh, what I could deal with and what I couldn't deal with and what would be better long term for myself and my uh, internal happiness at the end of the day. And I decided that I'd had enough of feeling unhappy and uh, I decided to, it was in my best interest to reach out and uh, seek help. I'm thankful for those who opened my eyes and enlightened me into just being happiness and being, being content within yourself. Um, and then from being content in everything that I'd done in life, that soccer passion started to come back and I started to look at the game from a different perspective. It wasn't all about me, it wasn't all about going professional, it was about enjoying myself and, um, and fortunately enough the ability to serve others as the captain of, of JU. Uh, last year was, it, it seemed like it was a, another notch on my belt, something I could write on my resume but whereas this year I'm kind of taking it as an honour. It's, uh, it's an honour to lead these boys on the field. It's an honour to um, be able to say I'm, I'm the captain of JU and I represent these people. Myself and a dear friend of mine, Sable Lee, she was an ex-softball player here at JU, graduated in the spring and she's just gone on to do her Masters at UCF. Um, we were heavily involved in the SAC organisation on campus and uh, very interested in outreach and helping others. Um, so we, designed, we created a blog and uh, designed it with the, with the notion of reaching out and helping. I was kind of overwhelmed from the response that I, I got initially and uh, I'm still getting. Um, I thought it was just going to be a nice uh, little thing for myself to kind of get the feelings and the, um, the emotions off my chest and still and show that I was truly happy and uh, in a content frame of mind. Um, but the the response from people around the country, around uh, back home in the UK, um, even as far from Sweden to Costa Rica, it's uh, it's been it's been amazing.